Clara. So very fortunately, we just missed cyclone in Myanmar and whenever it reaches monsoon, we are kind of worried about cyclone in Myanmar and people usually ask me, are there any seasons in Myanmar? Yes, we do have seasons, but when I was young, I thought that there are summer, the rainy season and the winter. But one of my teachers corrected me that the summer and winter in other Western countries and some Asian countries like Japan and Korea are very different from nature or our seasons, so we should instead Instead, call it the hot season, the rainy season, and the cold season. Anyway, we have three seasons in Yemen. It's generally from March to May, but it's getting hot in the end of February and it's just rain in May and it's extremely hot in the hot season, especially in the middle part of Myanmar. It sometimes hits like 40 degrees Celsius in Manali, which is ridiculously hot. But one good thing about the hot season is our schools are closed. In March, every student have to sit exam and then the secondary and primary students usually have about three month holidays where university students have two months holidays. And most of the families have at least one kid who is going to school. Where the schools are closed during the hot season, we usually go for travel. Beaches are popular twice to cool down, but we also go to other places where we cannot go during the rainy season due to flat and bad road condition. But the best thing about the hot season is border festival as known as New Year festival. I have talked about this here if you are interested in it. So for children and youth, apart from being extremely hot, the hot season is kind of joyful season. But the worst thing about the hot season is as there is no rain, the hydropower plant throughout the country cannot run 24 by 7, that we have more frequent electricity blackout during the hot season. And yes, that sucks. And it's common to see fire accident here and there during the hot season. And in some areas, especially in some remote areas it's very hard to get water during the hot season so people usually hope for the rain as it approaches to the end of the season it's from june to october and it's where the school starts a new year so the children are usually excited thinking about new teacher new class and sort of new friends and it's very inconvenient to travel on foot during the rainy season so that Buddhist monks do not travel from July to September and I'm not too sure about the detailed relations but Buddhists do not get married during those three months and some don't even move home and in October we usually receive lots of wedding invitations because the couples have been waiting till the period has finished and there is less rain in October and we have Leiden festival where we celebrate with lanterns and pay homage to parents teacher and elderly and we have 10 days of school holiday during October and we have less electricity blackout during the rainy season but it has been four years that I was not in Myanmar during the rainy season so I'm not too sure about it anymore and I think four moms usually hope for the rain and the rain timing is very important for their crops and in some places where the rain doesn't come on time they usually play tug of war which they believe could call the rain kind of traditional belief and my personal memory about the rainy season is sitting near the window during the rain, reading a very nice book with a mug of coffee, and it's really cool. If you ask any Myanmar, I bet 9 out of 10 would say the cold season is their favorite because it's not too hot and it's not rainy, it's kind of pleasant. From November to February is the cold season, but you know it's not as cold as those autumn and winter in other countries. It's around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius normally in Yangon and in northern and northeastern part of Myanmar. There is no during the cold season, but I have never seen. And in Chin State, in western part of Myanmar, the temperature could drop to like 3 or 4 degrees Celsius. It's also a lovely season to travel, so I usually recommend foreigners to go to Myanmar during the cold season. In early morning of the cold seasons, people usually get up early for jogging and walking. Then when their exercise finished, they usually have like Burmese tea and Burmese tempura, which is like different fried stuffs with families and friends. It's really a fun thing to do and like radios and media usually support doing different sports activities during uh, the cold season especially in December and there are sometimes like walking competitions where many people can join 
and there is a holiday period about 10 days around Christmas where people go for travel again and my personal favorite is also the cold season because it's the only season that I can hit my school uniform and the colorful jackets and sweaters during my school time just kidding so yep that's about it if you'd like to know more anything about Nyuma culture or tradition or anything like that just leave your comments below and I try to address it in our next video Ta-da!